Uh, the biggest mistake I see trainees make is mistaking training and testing performance. So they come into training sessions, they are looking to add weight or increase th their performance, sometimes at the expense of the training effect of the actual session. So. Any hidden talents, huh? I, th I, could, I could repair things, but that, I don't think that's hidden. That's like my past job, but I can't sing or juggle or anything like that, so no. Uh, because just because of someone's age, no. I think that's that's going to be a case by case basis. So I think someone's training history tells me much more about what how to manage their training than just a just just an age. Deciding on which variation or accessories to prescribe for my athletes. Uh, I think that if I'm watching someone's technique on a certain lift, and I think that an assistance exercise or a supplemental exercise will help correct deficiencies in technique. And by deficiencies, I mean stuff that takes away from their, from, from them executing a certain lift with a consistent, reproducible technique that they can use it at meet. Then I, I would, uh, I would use variations in that case as almost as drill work and to modify the fatigue throughout the week. I think that's going to come down to a, a lifter. You're, you're, you're going to assess each lifter and prescribe variations that way versus just shotgun variations all the time just for the sake of variation. I think you can go off the deep end. You can, you, can, you can be too specific, but you can also just throw variation out there with, with no good reason and end up with less than ideal results. I like it. My favorite activity outside the gym, it's just walking, like in a city. Uh, I, I, I don't have any like recreational hobbies like tennis or golf or anything. I, I just like walking around in big cities. That's just walking? Yeah, just walking. Just walking through New York City or we walked around San Diego a bit yesterday and that's, that's, that's it. All right. Yeah, if that's what you mean by physical activity. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> My favorite Keanu Reeves movie. It's definitely not Speed. Uh, what is the? I think I'm forgetting the name of the movie I just watched. John. Uh, John Wick. John Wick. Yeah. I, I don't know which. John Wick one, two, three. I think it was the latest one, three. Okay, that's yeah. your favorite. Now that's your. Favorite. I th yeah, I think that was good. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure doesn't register. No, no, I'm not a huge Keanu Reeves. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. Cutting that out. All right. It's the money. My typical breakfast. Today I had Greek yogurt, blueberries, and I stole some of Leah's oats with coffee. That's what I had. I, Is that a typical breakfast for you? Uh, either that or just a shake and like some sort of fruit. I'm not a huge breakfast person, so I just try to get something down and that will carry me over to lunch. My The biggest challenge I have faced in all my years of lifting, I don't think there's one uh, like one particular moment, but it's been uh, trying to reproduce a uh, reproduce a process that like I can I can repeat to to peak well for meets. I've always had great training that would indicate much higher performances than I, I could usually get at a meet. So I think that's uh, that's been that's been one of those things. There's been you know various random aches and pains and stuff like that, but I, I wouldn't consider those you know huge setbacks. I think one of the biggest challenges I have going forward is trying to, you know, re recreate that uh, that peak, that peaking process. Lasha can clean and jerk 264 kilos. Does he have the potential to deadlift 500 kilos? 
Uh, I don't think so. One, because 500 kilos is an insane amount. And I don't, I don't see that, that clean and jerk and that deadlift being related. The training for both of those things will be very different. Uh, the velocities are different. I think the person that excels at one or the other is, 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 is probably going to be a different person too. Right. But Lasha is very, very strong. Sure. Yeah. It's the money. Um, I think coaching, it's, it's watching people progress over the long term, not just in numbers, but in their understanding of training, of how they go about the training process and watching them, watching them de develop that way. It's the money.